everyone. My name is David Berger. This is my stackathon. It is called Fretboard. Okay, so you know how you always want to co um, computationally generate, you know, which strings to put your fingers on while you're playing guitar? Because I do. Um, so basically what this is, it's a digital fretboard. Um, and the thing that I was actually interested in is guitars have a standard tuning. EAD GBE, and I was wondering, like, well, if you changed it up from standard tuning, like, how would you figure out where you were, like, where you, where to go, or like, what was even a G chord after you changed all those tunings? So first, I'm going to demonstrate uh, just the different type of things you can do with standard tuning and six strings. So if I want <coughs> to know how to play a G chord, a G major chord in standard tuning, I just go there and. If you play guitar, you realize that, yeah, that's a G chord structure right there. It works. And it has a C chord. And one of the cool things that it does is it marks the root notes. So in the C chord, this is actually C. So you know that you want that note to be prominent. And just similarly like that, we can actually look at scales. So this is the C major scale. And those are the notes in the C major scale. It shows you all on the fretboard where all of those different things are. <clears throat> so I can change the tuning and it actually will change all of those notes at once. So now we see that C, now that I changed this uh, string to tune to C, that this is a root note on that string. Um, again, really cool if you play guitar, kind of nonsense if you don't. But let's, uh, let's take a look at what else we can do. So maybe instead of uh, six strings, I had four strings. Uh, what's a ukulele tuned to? Anyone know offhand? G? Is it C, G, or G, C? I always forget. I think it's G, C, E, A. I could be wrong. G, C, E, A? Da, 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 da. Right? Yeah, it sounds like that. So uh, we can we can test this out because we want to know, like, see what does a G major chord look like on the ukulele? Yep, good to go. And what does an F chord look like on the ukulele? Yep. And you can see that these strings are possible to be held open because you see like, right on the nut there it says open string, good to go. So we also have a custom. Um, say that I wanted to do like a real spicy chord that I haven't uh, implemented yet in the options. So real spicy chord, let's go with C augmented. So that's made up of C, and you see that the first note that we add C uh, ends up to be the root note. So C, C augmented is C, E, and uh, G sharp, I believe. So yeah, if you held your fingers like that on a ukulele, and strummed it, you would be playing C augmented, which I think is pretty cool because it generates all these things computationally through the lovely mathematics of music. And that is my stackathon. Thank you.